am uh, oh, very open to life extension uh, development. Um, however, I too have the concern about in inequality, and so I would want that to, to be a part of the conversation as we go forward. Uh, how can we unfold these therapies and programs in a way that they really are helpful and that they work for the common good? Now, those are my cautions, right? Yeah. But uh, having stated that, um, that as we kind of address these things going forward and have thoughtful conversations about them, I'm, I'm, uh, I think that we, we should go forward. And um, I also buy into the notion that they're going to come. These therapies are going to come. How soon, we don't know. Don't know, but it does seem um, certain. I mean, more advanced it, it therapies. It seems certain to me. I yeah. know there are those who argue that we can prohibit this and we can stop this. And I've read that. I'm not convinced. That no, neither can, am I. Even if we wanted to, no. and I'm not saying we want to, but right. I, I, I hold the view that these therapies and technologies for human enhancement are coming, and so what, why I think a, con a thoughtful conversation from all segments of society that's willing to have a, an informed and thoughtful conversation about it is, is crucial so that we can make sure that we can guide and develop these these. Um, therapies in a, in a very productive way, and um, uh, you know, there's a there are all kinds of domains of conversation that we need to have. I, I think I mentioned earlier James Hughes' book, Citizen Cyborg. I think that's a wonderful uh, book that talks about, uh, to a large degree, the political side of things. Um, what he calls democratic transhumanism. We really do need to be uh, developing these kinds of conversations. Um, as we move forward so that uh, we don't get into a, um, a big mess as a species <laughs> with all this. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but uh, I mean, you're op very optimistic about uh, the prospects for life extension and, and uh, I mean, you look like a, a very healthy uh, man. I mean, you must... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you, you watch your diet, uh, you, you exercise, uh, you, you're trying to uh, live long enough to uh, e enjoy some of the uh, life extension therapies that may be uh, on the horizon? Take, uh, yeah, I take very seriously uh, health diet. I have you know, okay. a vigorous program of racquetball and uh, exercise, and I have an integrative medicine doctor, a really excellent integrative medicine doctor oh. who, who combines traditional um, medicine with alternative therapies. That kind of a holistic are, approach. That he does take yeah. a holistic approach and so um, I think that um, you know I, I hear, I'm also deeply committed to um, freedom okay. and so uh, I think I would like for people to have the option of making decisions about their life and so Assuming these therapies come along and uh, in time for me to participate, I would like to be healthy enough to uh, make that choice. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Great. I, I know there is a heavy libertarian uh, influence within uh, trans, the, you know, transhumanism and immortalism. You know, at the Immortality Institute uh, as well, uh, a very you know freedom-based approach where people yeah, there, should there have is, a choice. And, and certainly James Hughes' book is wonderful in addressing that and weaving that into his uh, vision for a democratic transhumanism. I strongly recommend that book. Right. Uh, okay, well, uh, you know, uh, I think we've uh, had a nice conversation here this evening. I just want to ask you if you have any other uh, last comments or, again, uh, uh, maybe want to promote any upcoming, uh, like the book again, maybe you want to mention that coming out uh, soon. Uh, what that's about, and then uh, if you're going to be at the uh, uh, American um, Re Academy of Religion, was that what the uh, conference was? You're, uh, you're, that's the annual meeting is okay. in, in uh, October. October. The next one is in Chicago. Okay. Yeah, we'll have our transhumanism and, okay. and um, uh, religion um, unit there, and the, the book by Paul Greg McMillan is coming out in 2009. Oh, that's 2009. Okay. 2009. 
fine. Okay. It's just in the, uh, the you're just getting contrib contributions now and uh, putting it together. The book will be coming out in 2009, and that's all about religion and transhumanism uh, and life extension. Exactly. Okay. Well, uh, any last thoughts then before uh, we uh, call it a night? Well, I think, um, um, you know, I would, I would probably have been uh, one of the people that would have jumped on the ship to, quote-unquote, discover the new world or, you know, head out west. You know, it, it's just... Um, the what's coming, I think, is is the new frontier, and it's fascinating, and I think going to be just extremely interesting to contribute to that conversation in the little way that I, you know, I, I can. And uh, to me, there's nothing more intriguing and interesting than human religious religious behavior. It, it's uh, well, it is very interesting. I, I will give you that. <laughs> And to see how that plays out in the coming human enhancement technology conversation, well, I just can't think of anything else I could do with my research time right. and, uh, to be involved in that. Yeah, well, I, I, I want to thank you very much tonight, Dr. Mercer, for joining us for this broadcast. And I, again, want to thank you for uh, broaching the subject again at the American Academy of uh, Religion meetings. Uh, for the last couple of years, I, I was unaware of that, that uh, there was actually, that uh, Aubrey had spoken there and that uh, this subject has been brought up. Uh, I mean, that is wonderful to hear. Uh, it's great news. So I want to thank you for that, and I want to thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, thank you, Justin. Have a good night. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. All right, that was Dr. Mercer, Religious Studies at... Religious Studies Scholar at East Carolina University. Some good topics there tonight. And that's going to be close to the end of our broadcast. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, trying to get a few more uh, technical uh, features worked into the broadcast. In the future, uh, we may be able to have more than just you know the pictures. Uh, we'll also run some video along with the broadcast. So hopefully we'll be improving this. Uh, as the weeks roll along, and I hope uh, everyone continues to uh, join in the conversation. Thanks to everyone who asked questions uh, in the chat box. That is great. Uh, and in the future, uh, maybe we'll have two or three guests on in, in a kind of a debate style as well uh, with some of the different subjects. So uh, head on over to the Immortality Institute forums if you have someone in mind that you'd like to uh, have as a guest in the Sunday night chat, maybe some leading, uh, you know, science figures or uh, like uh, Dr. Mercer, uh, religious scholar. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different people out there. Uh, you know, during the week I contact many top names in the fields and uh, try to get them as guests. But I could always use help if you know someone uh, personally uh, who would be an interesting guest. Uh, you can go into the forums at the Immortality Institute, and there's a, a topic: the wish list of Sunday night guests and you could uh, uh, go in there and uh, make a couple of suggestions like I said if you know someone that really helps out because uh, then they're not as afraid to uh, come on the broadcast so uh, anything else that uh, anyone wanted to ask questions about tonight uh, I think in the future once again we will be having a, a little more content as as far as uh, Immortality Institute news you know updates through the week just kind of talked a little bit about the board meeting uh, earlier, kind of getting some discussions going for the conference. If you're unaware, uh, a 2008 conference, we're planning on having a joint conference with the WTA in the Bay Area. That's very preliminary, but uh, it looks like uh, that is going to be the case this fall, uh, a, a combined conference with the Immortality Institute and the WTA. Um, and also, we've got a few other initiatives that we're working on. You can probably see some of this in the forums at times. Uh, so, you know, please feel free to comment and contribute. Okay, and that will be the official end of our Sunday night conversation here at the Immortality Up to Date, uh, Update channel on Ustream.